Hello and welcome to the Horoscope Vault, a podcast that explores the week ahead through the lens of astrology because in this day and age of surprise twists and turns it can be quite frustrating the way that things happen to just throw a spanner in the works and it feels really uncertain in planning anything because who knows what to expect next. Well astrology can actually be a tool of preparation and this show is aimed at sharing the upcoming astrology forecasts so that you can experiment with preparation based on those and see if and how it can help you the way it's helped me and thousands of others who use the practice daily. I'm Charlie, an associate member of the American Federation of Astrologers and Astrology Reader for Radio's The Bob and Sherry Show, and this is the general astrology outlook for the week ahead, the week of Monday, July 8th, looking at how things start off in the week quite lovely with some real honest and necessary values shining through and even some good money moves but the week then finishes off with what could be considered as a bit of a scare on Friday. Join me for all of those details in this episode. (laughs) So this week is all about Venus and Uranus and Saturn and Neptune and Pluto. Those are the planets making the key aspects this week. So the main theme words for each of those is going to be Venus with its values and its money, Uranus being a surprise, Saturn being some kind of responsibility, Neptune being some kind of illusion, and Pluto is always about power. And if I were to condense it into that whole TLDR, too long didn't read or too long didn't listen version, that would be some financial maturity, some unexpected new responsibility, a little bit of a courage boost, and then a scary brush with an issue or a situation through somebody else that is more than frustrating. It might even be scary or completely anger-inducing. And you can really just learn to combine planetary themes to start getting the basic week's feel from looking at the symbolism of those planets involved. You just need to get comfortable with the planetary possibilities and their meanings, and then maybe even the aspect suggestions. I've opened applications for my 10 week planetary workshop starting next month. There are 14 spaces left available out of the 20, and I'm still going through the rest of the applications that have been sent in. But if you wanna learn more about astrology with the idea of using it for yourself, you know, so being able to reference a chart at any point of your day to see WTF is going on. I like to do that if something feels like there are some shifts going on and I'm like, what the heck? Let me look at the chart. I almost always find the exact aspect. And it's not to be able to say, oh, that's why this is happening or that's what's causing this mess or this luck or whatever I'm experiencing. The point of being able to reference a chart and see what aspects are dominant and see what's up is really just about understanding why. It's about understanding why things feel the way they do. It's about understanding that, okay, this is happening for that outcome. And then being able to embrace it and lean into it for maximum results, even in the most gnarly of experiences. So this 10-week workshop is all about the planetary specifics. It will leave you being able to read the energy of the week on your own, by yourself, at the end of those 10 weeks. And you'll receive a certificate of completion too. So fill out the application form below and start your journey towards being able to confidently start using astrology by yourself. So this week's themes of values and money and surprise, responsibility, illusion and power, how does that unravel in more detail? So Monday 8th of July is about balance. And it's not just given, it's not an aspect where you wake up to balance, where you go out to work and there's just more harmony there. As you go about your day, everything feels in line. It's a sextile aspect in astrology, which requires effort. So you put in the effort that these two planets represent via their symbolism, via their sign, via their degree meaning, and then you get the balance. So Venus in Cancer sextile Uranus in Taurus. And there is not one astrologer on this planet that would ever say Uranus is about balance, but stay with me here. That's why degrees and decans really are important and help filter symbolism and further define it. So Venus in Cancer is in the degree of expressing the correct detail. 
it's at 26 degrees of the sine. It's in the final decan of the sine, the last 10 degrees of the Cancer Zodiac. And it's the self-discipline to adhere to caution. So there's a protective edge to this position, and there's also some loyalty. On the other end of the sextile, the meaning of Uranus and Taurus at 26 degrees is about integrity. So this is some protective integrity. It's about being an example. It's being a good example through expression. So something you express and feel that is important requires cautious integrity. You may find it easier to maintain your principles. You might have to deliberately maintain your principles. This could be seen as a call to not get carried away with any rebellious delivery of something. And in any kind of expression and behavior, the key is to stick to your values. There might be a meeting or an encounter today that turns out to be a pleasant surprise. There might be some information you learn that's a pleasant surprise, or just a general feeling of not knowing what to expect, not knowing where you stand in a matter. And that turns out to be much better than you could have hoped for. And on this same day, Monday, Mercury in Leo, sextiles Jupiter in Gemini, both at nine degrees and 50 minutes of their respective signs. So this is where the expression comes from, the communication part, because this aspect is about communication, thanks to not only Mercury's presence, Mercury's always going to be some kind of conversation, but the Jupiter placement being in Gemini. So I'm starting to get the feel that there's an important or pressing conversation to be had and that the conversation goes well. Mercury brings to the equation the energy of retreat via its degree. So maybe this is something that you have pulled away from, but you also know that you shouldn't let go of. It might be that you stepped back from something and today you get to talk about why. Retreat can sometimes be seen as surrender, but it's not giving me that surrender vibe right now it's giving more like retreat in a noble way because you deserve and demand better and so does the general situation itself jupiter's degree meaning is interesting because it's about not showing too much excitement it's about not trying to get too carried away with the potential of a favorable outcome until the outcome shows concrete signs which it will based on these aspects so it seems but still you might put on a front and appear calm and not get too swept up in the changes just yet until they exactly arrive. On Wednesday, the sun in Cancer trying Saturn in Pisces at 19 degrees is perhaps a little bit of awareness or the arrival of more responsibility that you maybe were not bargaining for. It's not a negative thing. It's just Saturn coming to load your plate a little bit more like it does. And these added duties do come with some recognition, like you got to this point because someone else or you yourself knows that you can do this. So there is trust and there is belief in this responsible air to this day. The sun in its degree beams out this feeling of assertion into a new beginning. So it's kind of a low speed thrust into a role that you're perfect for. But you may not have taken the step into that purposefully. It's like all the things that came before. So that was what Monday's conversation, Monday's development where you handle yourself well and someone perceives you as exactly the type of no fuss, straight to the mark, honest individual that they need in their experience. Now, as a result, you find yourself with an offer or a way to level up a bit. It's tiring and it could involve some shifting around of your current schedule, your current experience, but it might lead to something really, really good if you just strap up your boots and take on this obligation that you might be invited into. Thursday, Venus in Cancer, Trine, Neptune in Pisces. So this week is really starting out all trines and sextiles. And though they are considered traditionally more pleasant aspects and they offer positive unfoldment, they can be difficult too. They can act against your best interests. So let me explain. Imagine you get sucked into something because of a fear of saying no or just because you're too nice. 
and the trine or the sextile will take you a long way down that path that you didn't want to go down. There is still that kind of not so great presentation of this aspect too, because then even a trine is not going to cause too much hurt. It's not going to cause harm. It's just you digging yourself into a deeper hole with a little bit of innocence and then finding it difficult to get out of. Maybe sticking to your values and sharing something that you thought someone needed to know puts you in the position to now do more than you intended to do. You just wanted to get it all out there. You wanted to air this. You wanted to be part of a solution. And maybe you now get roped into the solution, but you stick it out. Or maybe there's this more designed presentation of this and you feel inspired by the changes and motivated by this you know, unexpected development, this new task or this new thing that you're participating in, while it's not how you would have chosen this to develop, it might not be the worst. And touching back on that word motivated, because motivation is a great word at the moment, due to the fact that Thursday, Venus enters Leo too. So combining all of these things, these Venus things and these Leo words, this could be a time of kind of attracting admiration, pursuing passion. It could be some dramatic expression. It could be lavish experiences and just situations based on valuing loyalty and commitment. In its wonderfulness, it is lovely. Venus in Leo is probably one of the more pleasant planet and sign combinations because Venus is very, very luxury. It's very delectable. It's very alluring. And then Leo is a sign, well, it's the sign of the sun. So it's very bountiful, energetic and such. So simplifying that, it's like energizing all of these nice things of life that could feel well-deserved. And Venus moves through Leo every year around the similar time. So like June, July time. But this year, there is a short-lived blip. And that is really what Friday's difficult aspect is all about. So aspect-wise, Pluto is in the sign opposite of Leo. It's in the sign of Aquarius, moving retrograde. And it makes an opposing aspect to Venus as it enters Leo. And anything opposite Pluto is not fun. In contrast, anything trine or sextile Pluto can be lots of fun, but Pluto is power. So when something is in opposition, it's a power trip. When something is in trine or sextile, it could be power in the most perfect of ways. In opposition, it's actually been said to point to things like stalking and menacing behavior. And in sextile or trine, Pluto can act in victory. So Venus opposite Pluto is the classic case of stalking or someone being too interested or too possessive, too jealous, too manipulative. It's blackmail. It's power and control. And with the opposition, it's all of these from another person. A quick reference to the July 4th episode that speaks about July 13th showing up this positive relationship for the USA. Is it possible that this relationship is formed and presented to look very nice and very lovely, but is, you know, born of some kind of blackmail or manipulation. Very much a possibility. If you haven't listened to the July 4th episode, I will link that below. But boiling this down to your experience, it's not going to be you feeling this isolated as your own person without the involvement of others, because it's an opposition. It is from another person. So I would do a big safety alert for Friday. And if the powers of the world were ever to use astrology, I would want to put that out there to gently guide people. I would seriously, seriously say, please be extra careful on Friday. And this aspect goes exact around 10 a.m. Friday morning Eastern time. So I would carry that over to all of Thursday night even. Just suggesting to have your wits about you. Venus in the first degree of Leo holds the keyword of caution anyway. Even if it was aspecting some other planet in some other place, Venus in one degree of Leo is caution. And then the Pluto degree in its best is about rigidity. 
as in sticking to what you know is right. And then in its not so best, it's got the keywords of brutal or depressive energy. So please be extra cautious on Friday. Take extra caution where needed. And speaking of where, the actual location of life that all of these aspects from the you know integrity of the Venus placement and the message of the Mercury placement and the more responsibility coming your way from the Sun and the Saturn placement all the way through to this caution, where they all show up entirely depends on your sign. And so the next episode released after this one will be the sign by sign rundowns for the week. That episode is the one you want if you need to take notes about this week. Follow on whatever listening platform is your choice to hear this podcast on and get ready to take sign-specific notes that help you sail through the week no matter what kind of wonder or what kind of madness shows up. Until next time, bye!